I shouldn't do that. Holy crap. That got me dizzy. But the reason why I played that song was it's, it's, it's from a Swedish band called Rauptir. And that song is named Götterdämmerung. And it's literally about, well, doomsday. And uh, imagine them like uh, quite a bit as a Swedish um, Rammstein, pretty much. So, but yes, we're back with more Götterdämmerung. Let's go. Yes. We're going to continue with Lord of Creation. Oh, is that a good thing? I don't know. Oh god. Uh, seriously, I'm 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 intrigued what's gonna happen here. <clears throat> Are all present and accounted for? Then let's get this briefing underway. Technical advisor? You got it. Okay, let's start with a review of our current situation. First of all, it's been about 20 hours since yesterday's attack. Thanks to all your valid efforts, we were able to avoid the worst case scenario. But I'm afraid we're still not doing well, all told. When Sigurd, who we believe to be a lost spell servant, broke into the shadow board of cockpit yesterday, he made off with our void reality observation device, the paper moon. Can't we just fold a new one? I have a bunch of papers here. Can't we just fold a new paper moon? I can I probably can shop one out right away and slam it on the screen. That's right. Of all the things for him to take. Hey, he didn't exactly steal it from us, did he? You gift wrapped the damn thing for him. Well, Manier, to be fair, he did it to save our asses. What else would you do something like that? Even Sigurd found it weird. You think I was giving him a present, you fool? I'll have you know that was me planning ahead. He didn't look at all like the gender, so I wrapped it paper and carefully to ensure I wouldn't break or damage it. Wait, you did? Really? Alright, alright, you can argue all you want later. Between the emergence exit, attempt emergent dive and secret attack, the damage to the shadow board is extensive. I honestly still love the fact that how we literally try it, we are about to enter into the void and secret like grabbing the entire fucking vehicle and preventing that like nope, yeet. That is pretty badass. Sucks that it happened, but it was bad. Frankly, it's a miracle that none of us died. Although that was all he was like you could say Holmes went up in arms <laughs> like over <laughs> and he has the right to bear arms but uh, he doesn't follow it because he let one out oh god that went out of hands whoops I'm worried too I haven't spoke to him since that battle is he it's not good if he pushes himself even a little, he'll die. He has to stay completely still while he recuperates. He didn't just lose an arm, you know. He also got inscribed with a primordial rune of death. Primordial rune? The lost Norseries is one of the foundational magecraft. Mages have particularly produced them, but they pale in comparison to the original one from Age of Gods. Really? They are dead power? I had no idea about that. Still, that doesn't mean they are not handy. They can be shot very quickly, which makes them very useful in a latter situation. For example, we use a whole bunch of them for Lana's mystic code, like Gunder. I mean, Gunder is definitely, you know, like old Norsified. At any rate, the primordial runes are powerful stuff. According to Norse myth, Odin made most of the world out of Ymir, with exception of the runes. See, I was right about the Ymir thing there. I was right. Like, uh, yeah, when they slay Ymir, they, they made, like, the world from his body and all of that. No, the runes were different matter. Odin discovered them after offering up his own his own life. The shape contained the death of the world itself. Um, wouldn't it be that when he sacrificed his eye to the uh, well of Mimir, Mimisbrun, you know, for all the knowledge, he sacrificed an eye? That will have went. I guess you call them the pathways to the truth that Odin discovered. If you inscribe a rune for death, then there's no escaping it no matter what. I mean, technically, we all have that rune on us, pretty much, I guess. Because we all will die! I guess he has the question of when and how and where. If you're flesh and blood, that's it? Flesh and blood? Dude, tell me that we actually put Sherlock Holmes in a, in a little robot or something like that. 
And he became a fucking annoying little tea kettle machine. Dude, that would be hilarious. Then his home is a heroic spirit. Does that mean he can be cured? Foo foo. You got it. A gold star for you, Mashu. I have no idea what you're saying, Foo. <laughs> Somehow, yes, I have no idea. Get away. I have no idea what you're saying, you little credit. If you want to lavish me with praise for my genius in putting together a recovery pot for, e for everybody in such short notice, you just go right ahead. You know what? I, I actually just want to like pet her on the head, like intensively, intensify petting, like. You deserve some thanks too, Lana. I'm sorry I had to try to heal him with your mystical so many times. But it was thanks to you that Hong Zilin disappeared before I could finish the recovery part. Hey, that's what they're there for. Hey! Well, thanks again. I'm sure he won't thank you too once he's back on his feet. That said, for the time being, Holmes will essentially be comatose. I know you're anxious, Gordy, but... That's Mr. Gordon for you, technical advisor. Need I remind you that we are still in briefing. Pillow talk we have outside the briefing. And on that note, let's get down to brass tacks. Mind you, Cartwright, Lano, I resided on a new mission for you. I trust you already know what it is, but I will explain it anyway. We have lost both the paper moon and one of our heroic spirits. Well, temporarily, in the latter case at least. The situation may be dire, but it's going to improve by us. But it's not going to improve by us sitting here twiddling our thumbs. Which would be really annoying. Especially since I have the old wound here on my thumb that makes it, you know, a bit painful. It was when I masturbated so hard that my thumb literally flipped back. I mean, uh, I had wrecked a rocket launcher. Which means. <coughs> And all these missions turn things around and keep moving forward. Sorry, I stole your father, didn't I? <laughs> <gasps> what? I can giggle if I want to. All right, moving. <laughs> this mission has three main objects: recovering the paper moon, cutting down the free web, and finding a path to the North Sea. Um, I understand why we need to get the paper moon back, since we can't continue our journey without it. But why is cut down the Tree of Emblems part of this mission too? An excellent question. As you recall, Sigurd didn't come here to kill us. He came to steal the paper moon. And I mean, it means that we need... Since we already at the Tree of Emptiness, we might as well chop it down while we're at it, you know? I'm a man. I don't walk more than one time. I carry bags in both hands and with a dick. And with the butt cheeks, if needed. You know, you only walk once, uh, no matter what. So when we go there, we might as well chop it down. Why would he do that if he belonged to this lost belt? Seemed put, he wouldn't. Never in a million years. The only one who would consider the paper when a threat are the cryptid, especially now they lost Russia. In which case, it makes sense to assume that he's one of the cryptid's servants. So this lost Belkrit already knows we're here, which means... Right, there is no avoiding a fight, and if we're going to have to do that, we might as well take down the Tree of Emptiness while we're at it, yeah? See, Manure, you're right, I mean... I'm self-inserting myself as Manure in this game. I'm just there for the ride, I don't really do anything important, and I'm just an average guy. I'm, I'm, I'm cannon father, so literally me, and I'm the one that wanted to run and hide it when possible. Things comes to show. Correct. Once a cryptid realizes the free of emptiness is in danger, we can be certain they will have some sort of response. And when you do that, will it be the perfect chance for us to take the paper moon back. Maybe I'm being a little overly optimistic here, but I'll say this plan is absolutely foolproof. I mean, this is so basic the idea like, okay, we attack, they make the word, no! But how the fuck are we supposed to go in and steal it? I, I don't want to bur burst your bubble, but my character, MC, is not famous for being this stealthy, sh thieving one, you know? We don't have Robin Hood here! Foo foo. Anyway, there's a ton of work to do. do oh, yeah, that's true. Uh, thank you, Da Vinci. First order of business, we need to conduct a uh, thorough investigation of this lost belt. And since we have to stay here and repair the border, I'm afraid that it will fall to the two of you again. 
You okay with that? Oh yeah, uh, if you guys are wondering about why I'm saying calling her Davinki, uh, it's from a meme that is that is just fucking hilarious. Uh, I'm gonna showcase it here. <laughs> this is the one they were so fucking. <laughs> Who painted the Mona Lisa? Oh, Mona Lisa. Oh, yeah, yeah. Davinki. <laughs> I love the da Vinci. <laughs> oh god, they are fucking good. Uh, uh, they are. There he goes, the is. Da Vinci? Oh god. Oh uh, yeah, so that's why I say call it Da Vinci at times. <laughs> uh, that, oh, yeah. Woo, we're on it, sure, Da Vinci. <laughs> I'm a little worried about leaving the border with homes in such critical condition. What about the giants? <laughs> Not to worry. I'm already got just a thing in mind for handling them. Oh, thank goodness. I'm glad you're skilled as you're cute. Flatterer. Don't stop now. It's about time somebody recognizes just how useful I am. I mean... I've been considering that all the time. I mean... You, she pretty much keep everything running here? Anyway, let's stop by going over a few things. We need to make sure we're all on the same page for this lost belt after all. Dun dun dun! First thing first, the Norse mythology we know from proper human history. Scandinavia used to be home to all sorts of gods, giants and other mysteries, just like the age of gods in other areas. True. But then... In 1000 BC, about 3000 years ago, Mount Katla erupted. Ah, just the Katla erupted and Ragnarok began. Or, as, we, as it's actually pronounced, Ragnarok. And Ragnarok began. You, you, you non uh, Norse people, you will probably say Ragnarok. <laughs> Which, it's actually sound pretty cool. It's brought an end to that entire reality. Essentially, Scandinavia own Age of God. Wait, so Ragnarok happened? Oh shit! But because when Ragnarok happens, it's literally doomsday. It's uh, uh, the mid god snake, mid god's omen, uh, Thor, and everyone is fighting uh, the fair, uh, doomsday, Fimble winter, and the ah! the gods, the giants, even the fans small in the region, along with all the myths and legends, were completely wiped out. At least that's the convention wisdom in mate community. Jangnarok, the twilight of the gods. That was a conflict that brought an end to the gods in Norse mythology, right? Yep. That's right, Locust mischief eventually beget the old sort of disaster coming in with Muspel Fire invaded from Muspelhelm, the land of flame. It's hot. Yeah, Loki did uh, <laughs> quite a lot of mischiefs, that for sure. Like, uh, when he's, when Thor and uh, a bunch of kids, in one story I remember, they are, uh, have you know, they have these challenges against the giants, and um, Loki's with, I think Loki's with Thor and gang them, and he's managing to trick, or was it he was tricking Thor, I don't remember which side he was on, Loki's on every side and nobody's side. And I think it was four or the giant he was gonna drink against. No, it was four. I will, whatever. In the general, it was that uh, he was gonna drink, you know, they got these massive fucking uh, mead horns, you know, to drink from. Like, but the thing was that they was gonna drink it from with one gulp, you know. And the giant had no problem, you know, taking this massive, like, glug glunk. Well, took it down in one. Um, one drink, you know, and then four gonna do it. But however much he drank, it never emptied. It was because that uh, mead uh, was, you know, the ocean. So it was literally like became the ocean. It's like he was trying to drink the entire ocean and shit like that. It was insane. Very interesting, though. In fact, what most believe, uh, no, has been a no. Uh, what most believe there have been an enormous eruption from Mount Katla was actually fire, gi fire giant's invasion. 
It's said to turn Ragnarok. Odin was eaten by Fenderir, the great wolf of ruin. Many gods died in fearsome clash with the giants. Ah, yes, Fenderir. Hmm, Fenderir is cool. I would love to see Fenderir as a uh, character as well in this game. Also, um, fun fact. Uh, as probably some of you guess, the names of the gods is different in Swedish and uh, Norwegian and all that, but uh, Loki is actually Luke. Odin is Odin. For Thor. So it's, it's uh, I think it's pretty interesting. And, uh, I mean, it's not big chain like Odin, Odin or o Odin. It's, I mean, it's, it's not big, but I think it's interesting. Before Surtur, the fire, fire king of giants, the rule of Muspelheim, laid waste to all the land with his flaming sword. A Surtur, yeah, I don't know, cool. Wait, I was Gordon. Oh shit, I gave the wrong voice to Gordon. <laughs> I don't know why I, I was in Da Vinci mode there. Sorry, Gordon. Yep, and once the gods and giants vanished from Scandinavia, that was when the age of humanity began. That was when most of the mystics were lost and civilization rapidly advanced. Foo, 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 foo. Why? Foo, oh, shut up! No one understands you. Basically, yep. The idea that the real te texture covering the world disappeared along with Scandinavia's age of God was more of a presumption, courtesy of nature from proper his human history. That does differ a bit from regular historical records, though. The oldest known record we have of Mount Katla erupting goes back to AD 9 930 years ago. There aren't just any, any, any records of what happened all the way back in 1000 BC. Well, that track, uh, if the entire section was wiped out. Again, conventional wisdom says they only have bits and pieces left over now because of this entire texture disappearing. You really do love your conventional wisdom, don't you, Director? What's wrong with that? Many notable authorities support that theory. I'm told all that about common knowledge in the Clock Tower Archaeology Department. In the Melostea factor, to be precise. I have no idea what the Melostea is. Foo? Nanny? When you get right down to it, there's still a lot we don't know. In proper human history, we never did get a full picture of the Scandinavian Age of Gods. So we have a lot of vague guesses patched together from whatever small remnants we could find. But hey, that's pretty much the case everywhere. Well, true that, true that, true that. However, that is obviously not the case for this version of Scandinavia. Not by damn sight. I'm guessing that here in the Scandinavia last spell, the Age of Gods never ended. Yeah, I assume that the, 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 the giants literally took over. Some, I wonder if they're giants. Just have seen for ourselves, giants are very much alive and well in this lost spell. One of the big questions we need to answer is, when did this lost spell diverge from proper human history? The other is, given the giants we run into, we can be certain that it's still before AD era, and that the age of God's level music still exists, but we don't know why that is. So those are the two big questions, when and why. We should have feel a lot better once we have the, have the answers. So we want to know the time period this lost belt diverged from proper human history and why it happened in the first place. Right, Johamashu? I don't know how it will help us, because I, I have no idea of anything. At this point, I think it could be diverged around 3000 years ago, around the time of Ragnarok in proper human history, Scandinavia Age of Gods. But as to why that happened, your guess is as good as mine. Why does this lost bell look like this? What are those flames you saw in the northern mountains? And based on what we've been able to observe from the border, why does this look like there aren't any towns or cities like they were in proper human history? Are there even any other humans here? If so, did they change into something else, like the Jaga? We really do have a lot of unanswered questions. That's right, we still pr know practically nothing. The best we have right now is our estimation that the Age of Gods has never ended here. If only a divine being would have a quality to show up and tell us what's going on. <laughs> Stupid lost bell. Oh yeah, I was also told that uh, the um, the Jotuns uh, are actually targeting div divine character first. And that's why they li the Jotun literally destroyed the uh, Taiga for me. I don't know now. I don't know. I can't think of many gods going for the whole exposition thing. Fool, fool. 
Hey, at least you got adorable and knowledgeable, knowledgeable the binky on your side. Let's see, speaking of the situation here, right? I still got to tell you about the Scandinavian tree of emptiness. But we weren't able to see it. I imagine not particularly since the border couldn't see it with its sensor either. So we should assume that this lost belt tree of emptiness is being concealed somehow. Which is why our missions to object, object include finding it. Good luck! We're counting on you! Have a nice time! Go, go out, have knock of, have fun! And once we found it, we, we cut down. We call him Paul Bunyard. But of course, if you see the chimney shut down, go right ahead. No need to wait for my orders in that case. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, if you find this big magical tree, just chop it down while you are, while you are out there. Let's see. All right, one more thing. I really hate to say this, but it's not possible to summon a servant outside of battle here. Nani? And then ley line. The board is running way low on power effects to all the damage, but the biggest issue is the fact that we couldn't detect any ley lines. Oh no. No ley lines, ley no. I bet because of all the magical energy intertwined with the ice and snow at the molecular level. I'm afraid it's also going to interfere with our long range comms. Oh shit. Alternately, the ice and snow magical energy could be completely controlling both this lost belt man and history. So that would mean if someone were manipulating ice and snow with a magecraft, then... I mean, they're incredible powerful! <laughs> if you want to keep it hypothesizing... Hypoth 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 <laughs> I guess that if someone like that exists, they're also this Lost Bell's king. Of course, it's possible this is just what this Lost Bell is like, but at least keep that possibility in mind. Um, if I may? In short, our situation is highly precarious. We are not sure about to send our mere two-person team to explore further, despite the fact that we currently have no means of defending ourselves. <coughs> so I bring out my magical shotgun, Big Ready, because she got the booty, and she got a shoot. I hope you can appreciate how difficult of, of a decision this was to reach. All clear here. <laughs> good, good. Very well, Anastasia. You will leave first thing tomorrow morning at 0900. While we're on the subject, let's talk about your current destination, too. Though we don't know where Sigurd went after stealing a paper moon, we did detect a group of life forms approximately 150 kilometers northwest from the border current location. I'm hoping it's a village, even though there wasn't one there in, in on the 2019 map. Sure about that? Anyway, I think that'd be a good place to start asking around. I'll make sure to prepare some translation talisman before you leave, of course. You don't need that! I speak fluent swim su Swedish. Most of the time. Probably not. I'm 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 speaking Smolenska, which is a uh, dialect in uh, southern Sweden. Yeah. I wish I could do more to help you too. Under normal circumstances, I'll be right there with you in the border. But this is the best we can do right now. I'm sorry. The shadow board still needs a lot of repair work to get it mobile again, and of course, Sir Sail is scaring out of question. Still, at least you won't have to worry about the Ortonex. I spent the last 20 hours going over the whole thing with a fine tooth comb. You shouldn't have to worry about acting up after getting hit with a demonic sword anymore. What? Thank you, Da Vinci. The next time I see him. Yep, you give him what what for? Don't hold back on Siegfried's account. Yes, you're right. Though I don't think we need to bring Siegfried. Sorry, I'll see him there. I'm so sorry, sorry, forgive me. As it usually be. It's like that we can't count on our comps. I wish we had at least one more fighter we could send with you. Yes, having another hero spirit around, around right now would be really welcome. Especially one who could watch over the border for me. No, you don't. Don't even think about wasting a last bit of power on a summoning test. If we've got time to worry about things we haven't got, then get out there and find them. That's a smart way to go about this. Can't we just convey the snow, that man mana, into something we can use ourselves? Yeah, you got a point. Alright, Mashu, Lano. We're going to have to count on the two of you to find some help and maybe even bolster our fighting force into the bargain. Maybe there are other heroic spirits for proper human history, like they were in Russia. Exactly. But then luck, the Behoric spirit in the land itself summoned here, like Beowulf and Billy. 
All right, let's go over everything on last time. For this mission, you two have three primary objectives. First, take back the paper moon. Second, get down the tree of emptiness. Three, get me some tackles. Oh man, I would die for some tackles right now. And third, find the path to North Sea. Of course, those last two are more of an extra credit, but the first one is absolutely crucial. So let's get started with the information gathering and hopefully recruiting some fighters. Got it. We'll do it. Hey. Right, senpai. Mm -hmm. Very well then, we begin tomorrow morning at 0900. Now, if there are no further questions, this briefing is concluded. Holy moly, and we're gonna get fucked. Whew! I need a. Seriously, what are we gonna. Gonna meet out there. It doesn't look like there's any, any blister. Looks like today's forecast for the southern Sweden region of Lost Bell is clear sky. Actually, it is sunny here today, so yeah, it is clear sky. I'm all set, senpai. I'm glad it's still sun out. Me too, I think it's a good sign. Maybe I shouldn't say that given the situation. But I still want to stay positive. True, getting the press is, isn't gonna do anything to help us out of this. You got the right idea, Master. Here, have a Da Vinci head pat on the house. On the house. On the house. Oh. There you go. Thank you, Da Vinci. Oh, that's actually kind of cute. Technical advisor, allow your plan to spend saying your goodbyes. Get back in here already. Need I remind you, your only operational heroic spirit we got right now. And every second you spend away is another second the rest of us are defenseless. Oh, that's. What's the matter? You miss me them already? Something you want to say to them before you they go? No, I mean, yes. With the paper moon stolen, our position is extremely precarious, as to the fact that we have no mobility on land. And we're as good as that defending any help, any help to the rival, but therefore it's imperative that you to complete your mission and return as quickly as possible. Whatever you do, make sure you don't rush in and get yourself hurt, or worse. We absolutely cannot afford to lose any more of our human or servant resources. Really, we can't afford to lose anything else, given the state of things. Wait, what happened? Uh, anyway, our first order of business is getting the paper moon back. The second is returning it safely. Now, get on with it. Yeah, for all this bluster, our new director really does wear his heart on his sleeves. I'm pretty sure that was his way of showing his worry about you too. I mean, it's pretty obvious at this point, right? Yes, it is. I'm sorry, get a better. Yeah, he's good boy, Gordy. Uh, you should have heard him. Have the damaged chemical injuries healed yet? Will still be capable to run into the demonic soul wheeler again? Not that he's gonna lift a finger himself, given how he's been even more timid than usual since his homes got taken out. I must admit, I'm a little worried about the border. Would you be you being the only one who can defend it now? Hey, I know I'm not much of a fighter, but don't you worry. I'm pretty sure Sigurd isn't gonna bother the border anymore. Plus, I've already gone and put up an extra sturdy bounded field around it anyway. It's sturdy, it's a fake bounded field. And it's not just sturdy, I made sure none of the indigenous life would even tell its dear, especially the giants. I don't think I've worked this hard on a bounded field since I was putting it, the finishing touch on the Mona Lisa. Wait, there's a bounded field around the Mona Lisa? Dieta Vinci used to put up bounded fields around her penis back when she was alive. I, I still guess it is. Alright then, we'll be here waiting for you to come to back with good news. You two be extra careful out there. We still don't know much about this place after all. Not to mention that, well, that, well... The fact that we won't be able to communicate is going to be a serious issue. I wish I could have done something about that, but we're past that now. Uh, how about smoke signals? <laughs> something like that? The ice and snow are infused with magical energy which can get in the way no matter what. Uh, so we won't be able to talk to each other once you're more than a few kilometers out. But that doesn't mean I'm not giving up. I still got a few ideas I'll try it when I get the chance. Just make sure you don't push yourself too hard. With the border immobilized, 
We're effectively won't be able to share what we each learn. We each learn until you make it back to this North Shopping area. It's so fun to see Swedish words in here. It really is. This will be the first time you two are entirely on your own. Make sure you are especially careful. Don't go out of your way to save any cute girl asking for help unless they are at least as cute as me, okay? We won't, and please, you take care of yourself too, Davinki. Ugh, you guys are too damn nice for being in so young. Then again, I guess I'm younger than you now, aren't I? <laughs> okay, I'll be careful too. And one more. Foo? Foo for two. Whoa! When did you sneak out here? Oh, you're hiding out in my shield again, where? Dude, you need to like literally check through your shield for things. Fu 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 fu. Okay, it looks like Fu coming along with us too. The more the merrier. He can be, you know, emergency uh, rations if 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 we don't get anything to eat. He has gone from two to two to three means fifty percent more resources. <laughs> fifty percent more to eat. <laughs> yeah. See, when Fu is trying to help make up for our lack of personnel now. Well, it's great instinct, at least. Isn't that right, you little furball, you? Fu. Yeah, Fu, Fu is more than capable in his own right. Having him along will be a big help. I think we'll be able to effectively fight as a group of three now. Okay. Well, gonna be a decoy? Yes, I mean that. Fu, Fu. Aww. What's in my shoulder? Not senpais? Looks really like it's a real likes you, Mashu. Okay, this is two person team is now officially a three person team. And now, on that note, it's final time to show off my latest invention. Oh, it's a snowmobile? This Lee Beauty is something I came up with while I was trying to figure out a way to stay in touch. Sadly, so it won't help us communicate, but it will help you get around this lost battle a lot easier. I give you. Super, super, super. Um, skis. <laughs> the ordinance Oliver's board attachment. Oop. <laughs> what the? Are these some kind of additional equipment for my exoskeletons? When did you have time to make these? They are skis! Never underestimate the genius. Hehe, <laughs> that's right. These are basically super awesome skis. Thanks to the magical energy of Frosted, you'll be able to see around like nobody's business. Not even Olerus, the guardian of patron of Saint Ski of Skiers, has anything on these babies. Olerus? I actually... Olerus? I actually have heard of that one. Don't worry, they come with boards and gyro sensors designed to help you keep your balance. Damn. I got set for you too, Lana. With these, you free should be able to make your way around Scandinavia snow plains in a blink of an eye. No, we don't have run and we're local and wow, oh, come on, we could write some cool moves. At least what I think. That would be fun. That's right, you sh should damn well be impressed. Oh, beware that you want to go really fast. You should fold yours up and just hang up on tight to mash you. Thank you, Da Vinci. I appreciate this a lot. But this isn't taking care of yourself. <laughs> If you're going to stay up all night working, best to do it when you're young. Besides, I asked way too, mu uh, too much of you to the day before yesterday. It's the least I can do to make up for that. I'm sure Holmes would say the same. But then again, given that our great detectives are like, maybe not. Maybe not. I know it's not. It's my. I know it's my fault you to keep having to shoulder so much responsibility. So at the risk of sounding like a broken record, be careful out there. I feel the storage space in much shield with camping, camping gear, water, and a few days worth of food, so make sure you rest up when you need to. Remember, it's gonna be just the two of you and Fu, so you need to be extra, extra careful. Right. See you later, Da Vinci. Bye. Have a good trip. She has like a mother hand that is like seeing her kids leaving the nest, like, no. Bye. Have a good day. Fin Aisil. But well, I'm actually gonna cut for now. I'm actually starving right now. I'm starting to shake a little bit. I feel like my blood sugar is going down. So I'm gonna do that. But I will be back with more Gutter Dam Room and FGO very soon because we need to finish this up. I love this. So I want to see what's gonna happen. So thank you everyone. See you later on. And I will continue. Super great day.